All right, we are gonna see how this works. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. Today's video, as you can probably already tell, is not going to be a trans education video. I am actually taking you on a vlog style video today on something that I've wanted to make a video about, but I didn't really have the opportunity and I feel like now is a good time since I'm kind of like going through it uh, to talk about mania. As some of you know, I've had quite a bit of history with mental health and mental health issues and things like that. And this is one of the things that I suffer from and it's called mania. I'm not gonna get too into detail of what mania is right now because since I'm suffering from it right now, I can't really comprehend things that are going on and I will explain that to you a little bit later. But for me, it's basically sleep induced where if I don't get eight hours of sleep a night or if it's like restless sleep, I become manic. And there are lots of different ways that mania manifests itself and for me it tends to be a euphoria type feeling where I don't have control over my mind and body. And I, and I feel like this is something that's like not talked about enough at all and that's one of the reasons I want to make a video about it. But I'm actually having mania right now and today is pretty bad. It's about 1.40pm and I had the worst night's sleep of my life last night. I slept about three hours. I woke up, I was like completely awake, tried to go back to bed and it was like an on and off days to sleep and when I don't get sleep, I get crazy, psychotic, manic and it's not a fun time for anyone. Luckily my family is not home right now, they are all out, my dad's at work, my mom and my sister are visiting our puppy that we're getting and I am here alone which is good because I don't want to put this on anybody else. And I don't know how long this video is going to be, but what I wanted to basically do is vlog a day in my mania and see if it makes any coherent sense at the end of this. Because the words you hear me speaking right now, I hear to myself, but I can't fully comprehend what I'm saying. And it's just not a good mental situation to be in. I'm incredibly shaky, like you guys probably may or may not be able to tell but I am shaking incredibly bad right now, and it I can't stop it, and that's one of those things that happens when I suffer from mania. And I'm gonna try to eat something, I haven't eaten anything all day, and I think I'm just gonna take you guys along my day of mania and tell you about it and the experiences that I go through because I feel like it's not talked about a lot and the kind of mania that is talked about is like this like high elevated sense of self feeling for, that's usually associated with bipolar 1. Well, I have bipolar 2, but it is different for me because my mania is only induced by lack of sleep. And I don't know if this is an actual condition, I have talked to doctors about it, but I want to put this out there for someone else who might be suffering from the same thing and like I just want to let someone know that you're not, you're not crazy if you're going through this because I go through it too when I don't sleep well. And yeah, I've rambled on for five minutes now, but that's what I'm gonna do. Vlog style video today. It's on my DSLR of a day in the life of mania with Riley, which is, we're gonna see how this works out, okay? I'm not presentable. I did not prepare for this. I just got the idea and I was like, let's flip on a camera. So that's what we're doing. I'm in pajamas and it's gross and I'm actually just getting ready to eat because I blood sugar low, not good. But I will catch up with you guys in a little bit and let you know how I'm feeling, what I'm doing, what's progressed, what's gotten worse, and all of that good stuff. So I will catch you guys in a sec. Okay, so one thing that I've already noticed, I finished eating, I just wanted some Fruity Pebbles. So I poured some Fruity Pebbles to eat some and I wanted something sweet, like I was craving something really, really sweet. And I go and I take a bite of the cereal and it is so sweet and so overpowering. Like, I was so, so, so sensitive to how sweet it was and I don't think I've ever been that sensitive to a cereal's sweetness before. Uh, so that was a little weird, but that is definitely something that's happening with the mania because that's not a usual thing. Also, I have fallen down into the wormhole of Man vs. Pin, which I love that. I love Man vs. Pin, the YouTube channel, but I only ever end up watching it when I'm manic, and I don't really know why, but I've fallen down the hole again, so I'm watching it all over and over and over again, but that's what's happening right now. So sugar sensitivity, 
man versus pen. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so it is later to the day. It's going on 6 p.m. right now, and I am still running on empty. I have tried to lay down to rest. I have tried to do everything. I've tried to go to sleep now, because now if I sleep, I will probably stay asleep until tomorrow. But my body is just not letting me do that, because it's still light outside, and I'm just trying to make the best of it by minimally using social media so I don't seem like an entire mess on it and watching a lot of YouTube that I've already seen because that means I don't have to focus on it as much. I notice now that when I talk I have to think about what I'm saying a lot more than I did earlier. It's getting further into the mania where I don't really know what I'm saying at all. It's just kind of coming out of my mouth. This is going to be a really interesting video to watch back because I don't really retain what I say when I'm in manic states, so, and I've never really recorded it before, so this will be interesting. I'm just trying to work through it, watching old videos of, like, Tyler and stuff like that, trying to push through at least a couple more hours so it'll be dark outside and hopefully I can pass out, sleep for 12 hours, wake up and be fine again which was probably what's gonna happen but mania is it's so weird because like it's not it's not like this for everyone at all and usually mania is an episode of like inflated ego and things like that or like inflated self-confidence that includes a lot of risky behavior but for me, it's just sleep induced, so it only happens when I don't get eight or so hours of sleep or it's not good sleep. And then the only way I know how to accurately describe the feeling of what it's like to be manic in my shoes right now is being high. Like high off marijuana, but with all of the positive side effects ripped away and the negatives enhanced by like 200 and that's all it is it's just the dizziness the shaky the shakes the not being able to process what you're saying before you're saying it or thinking or doing your actions uh one thing that i have is a delayed sensitivity so when i go like this or something like that i don't feel it and that's a problem and this can be incredibly dangerous and this is one of those things that i'm trying to work through and i think that this will be good to watch back and be like oh well what can i do to try and prevent this obviously sleep but sometimes that doesn't happen when you're an insomniac like me uh if you haven't been able to tell already this video is definitely more for me than it is for you but if you are being entertained by it in any way or educated by it in any way that means a lot to me and that is good because I feel like there are a lot more mental illnesses that are being talked about, but I don't think I've heard the symptoms that I express talked about as much at all. So I would like to be one of the first people to like talk about the sleep de deprivation mania and things like that because it's real, it's serious, it's not fun, and people just don't understand it. And, like, my parents will be sitting around and they'll be like, what's going on with you? Why can't you do this or that? Why can't you drive? God forbid I couldn't drive like this. It's so dangerous for me to be on the road when I can't think. It's, it's as if I was intoxicated and that's the effect that it has on my brain. Like, I can't comprehend things. I can't do actions. I can't drive. I can't really hold a conversation. I can't like go out because I'm such a mess. And it's all caused from not getting a good night's sleep. And I try really hard to get a good night's sleep, but it's really difficult, especially because I have insomnia. So some nights it's really hard. And usually if I get eight hours, I'm good. But last night was not one of those nights. And today ended up being today and I'm fucking miserable. And it sucks because I had today off work. But then that means I only have like one free day because I'm spending today being completely miserable. But, okay, this is a ramble. It's horrible lighting, horrible angle. You're just sat on my desk. I'm leaning over to talk to you. I just, I don't know if this video is going to work out. I don't know if I'm going to post it. I don't know if anything like that. I know if I do post it, it'll probably be long. But whatever. I'll figure it out. I will catch you guys in a sec. Mm -hmm.